Hello everybody and welcome to another Explain 11 video. Today we're gonna fly the Flight Factor A320 Airbus. Currently we are sitting here at Faro Airport in Portugal and we are flying to Budapest, Hungary. It's gonna be a longer flight, it's about three hours and we're flying with Wizair. Actually I was on uh, such a flight a short while ago and I thought, why not um, fly it in X-Plane as well? And I also recorded um, the takeoff from Faro Airport, so maybe I'm gonna um, paste it somewhere to show you guys. So, without further much ado, let's prepare our aircraft for departure. It's the default scenery by the way for Faro Airport uh, it uh, looks quite differently in the real world but I have the uh, orthographic scenery for the environment so from the air it's gonna look very nice so let's go ahead here we have our iPad or tablet that's you request shocks and the ground power unit. And I also have the um, Blue Sky Star um, sound pack for this aircraft. So we're gonna have a very realistic auditory experience. They've done a great job with this aircraft, and I'm still I'm not using the beta version. Now some features are still not implemented. I think it was released. This this version was released in February, and the stable alpha alpha version is still waiting to be updated. So, for example, uh, weather radar is not working, and there are some features, but uh, it's fully flyable, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So first. the batteries in and the external flower also the nav lights come on emergency exit lights to norm seat belt and no smoking to on and let's put the alias to nav oops uh, that is not what we are looking for when we inadvertently um, Put it on at, then we have to select off again and then on nav. And in the real world, you have to wait for a minute or so, or shorter or longer, I don't know, when you put it on at and then uh, have to select off again and wait a little bit. So now these systems are doing the self test. Cancel the master caution and let's actually go at first and load our aircraft. Now we have to request uh, stair stairs. Yeah, we need stairs and cargo as well. Now we have here complete loading equipment. Well, this tanker looks like a Soviet uh, <laughs> uh, rocket launcher or something like that. Scud, I think it was called. So, now let's go with a bit of cargo. Yep, set and get. Well, let's, I, yeah, let's go with full. And fuel, let me just uh, look at the flight plan. It's gonna be about 13,000 pounds of fuel. Yep. And set and get 30,042. Well, let's get a bit more 
Yep. Looking good. Let's make sure we get got everything. And let's leave those while we are preparing the aircraft. Now we can go ahead and set up our MCDU. I have the latest Airwreck cycle 1808. First stop is the init ref. Uh, we're going to fly from LPFR, oops, PFR, which is Faro, to Budapest. There's no company routes, and we can go ahead and align the IRS. Flight number is going to be, uh, I think it's VZY. I'm not really sure. Well, let's go 1149. Cost index is going to be 65. And the cruise altitude is 330. Flight level 330. Now, here we have our zero fuel weight and the, um, some fuels that we have to fill out. But it's really, really easy. Going to the performance data and set. And here we have everything filled out. So very nice. Now, let's go ahead and fill out the flight plan. We're gonna depart runway 28 uh, with the uh, XA Apu 8U. Yes, this looks good. and insert. Now we have this waypoint as our last one. Now we have to go to the airways and fill out this long route information. Now it's gonna be a bit boring but uh, bear with me. Actually it's quite easy in the Airbus. If you put just the airways here or actually air 74 or 40 um, should be 47 and what okay then uh, Put the next waypoint in, and then the air airway is seven four seven to the left side, and then if we put the next airway, which is UM nine eight five, the computer should already calculate the intersection between these. Airways, which is exactly what I have in the flight plan. So, next is UM985. Oh, no. Uh, UN870. Then we have UN870. And then UZ eight one eight eight. UM nine eight five again. M985 and now we are going to direct routing 
Next is Anaki Skywalker. Almost. Then Ip Tok. Now we are almost done. Upiro. Riffen. Dimlo. Which is uh, in Hungary. And VBOS. Yeah, that's it. Temper fly plan, insert, insert. Yeah. Let's make sure there are no discontinuities. Ah, uh, there it is. But we haven't uh, selected our arrival. We're going to land at runway 31 right. Or, yeah, I think it's 31 right. Yep. Yeah. Or, I have to look it up in my sim brief page. It's gonna be runway 31 right. Where is that? ILS runway 31 right. And we're gonna use D web 4R. Uh, yeah, approach. Now, that being done. And let's see if the. Yeah, there are no discontinuities. We have our flight plan. But to make sure, we're gonna scroll through soon in the plan mode. But first, go to the performance page. <coughs> Let's go ahead. Trim position is up 0 0.8. Uh, sure. Yep, 0 0.8. And flaps gonna be 2. 0 0.8 up. We're not going to use a uh, uh, derated takeoff. And V2VR, let's go with 131. As V1. Because clicking here um, is not possible. It does nothing. So, now back to the flight plan page. And here, let's select the plan mode. Let's go, no, well, let's stay at 20. And make sure that everything is fine. Yep, looking good. Let's uh, this intercept point. Yep. Yeah. That looks good. Now, next thing, we're gonna listen to the ATIS. Information, or I don't think it has, uh, this airport has ATIS. Let's just look at the altimeter, which is 2991. Yep, yeah, that's it. 2991. Now, we have boarding completed. Actually, let's make sure that the... Um, I think it's called the... 
uh, the um, CDU is this one. The Airbus is called uh, FCU. FCU. Oh, here. Let's go in thousand feet increments and let's put our final cruising altitude in and push it in. And the Airbus manage mode when the airplane is flying, you have to push things in to give control to the airplane and pull things in if you want to get control of the autopilot. Okay, now we can go ahead and actually let's start the APU first. Uh, APU master switch, here we have the ECAM, it's gonna switch to APU. And it's gonna start slowly. Uh, now we can hear it power up. Actually, if we go inside the cabin and set up some views, we can hear it as well. Okay, now we have APU bleed and we can disconnect the gun ground power unit. Very nice. And get rid of all this stuff. Remove and also Here our APU is already fired up. So next thing is going to be, we are almost set. Let's engage the fuel pumps. And there is no um, uh, fuel in the center tanks, but they can be engaged as well. Actually, Curious if they implemented the PTU sound. Well, I'm hearing something, but uh, it's typical Airbus barking. Still not the <laughs> most authentic. Okay, let's wait for this light to extinguish. Or no, actually, we can also already go ahead and request pushback. First we need to disengage our parking Sorry, brakes. We don't have any push carts at this ramp. Oh, okay, no push carts. I think it has a uh, built-in um, um, pushback. Well, it doesn't matter. And then we need to be creative and use this map function. Oh, that's not gonna... Let's make sure there's nothing behind us. And... push ourselves back. Actually, a little bit further. Yep. <laughs> now we have push back. Okay. Go ahead and start our engines. Go this to 
start mode, ng mode selector. Let's wait a little bit. And let's go with engine number one. We're gonna see engine number one starting. Also here from the cabin. <laughs> now it sounds really, really good. Actually, let's uh, engage the parking brake first. For some reason, this aircraft uh, causes some uh, FPS drops. So I have a pretty high-end machine, but maybe the next update is going to bring some stability. So now we wait for the engine, engine 1 to stabilize. Uh, it looks good, and now we can go ahead with engine 2. Beautiful engines firing up. Let's wait for it to stabilize as well. Yep, looking good. So verified fuel on board is exactly what we need and then we can go ahead and APU bleed off and APU off as well. Now let's go ahead and set takeoff flaps to One of the issues I have with this sound pack uh, that in replay mode it doesn't work. Whenever I uh, watch a replay, there are no engine sounds. But maybe they're gonna address this issue in the next update, together with the update of the aircraft. So let's go to flight controls and set our trim to. 0 0.8 up. Yep, there it is. Now the APU is off. Let's go with flight control. Let's go with full, full down, left, and full right. Let's do rudder pedals. Full right and full left. Now, uh, and uh, flight controls are free and correct. Now, sp on these spoilers, let's go the auto brakes to max. And we are pretty much good to go. This engine mode selector back to normal. Let's look here a little bit. Taxi, wing lights, uh, let's go ahead and beacon, engage the beacon lights, and we are good to taxi. We have to go all the way down there to runway 28. Go back to arc mode and 
range 10. Slowly, slowly. Let's go and test the TO config. It's normal. Very nice. Let's add a bit of power. And taxi to the runway 28. Eleven knots ground speed. I don't want to go too fast here at the ground. Airport of Faro. Maybe we have to took off. I'm gonna show you guys the actual takeoff video which I filmed with my crappy phone, but uh, it was a beautiful sundown sunset landing or takeoff sorry using the tiller on the ground I have um, using my stick twist function for that purpose and I have a set of rudder pedals to help us on stay on the runway when we take off. Very nice. Not bad for default scenery. And there's the city of Faro. I got a chance to spend the day there. It's a beautiful city. Highly recommended. This whole part of Portugal, the Algarve, is really, really beautiful. Let's get the lights, here, take off. Oh, 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 let's slow down a bit. 22 is a bit fast. Runway is clear. I have uh, World Traffic 3 installed but I um, haven't generated any flights for now. Maybe next time. I wasn't sure how it's gonna perform with this uh, Approaching aircraft. Two, eight. On runway yep. 2, 8. 
thank you clock on and throttles advancing slowly forward and toga until 80 knots we hold slight forward pressure on the yoke to help us steer yeah 80 knots V1 slowly rotate. We're not the gear up. Wow, it was a hard takeoff. Flaps can come one degree on and can go to autopilot. I didn't want to <laughs> set off the toga lock scenario and uh, we can go to lever climb yep and the 200 knots this uh, flaps can come fully up uh, disengage the sp uh, speed brakes and let's oh, I forgot to TCAS to TARA but doesn't have it uh, doesn't function I think in this version and we are away on our way to Budapest airport Okay, now we have to set the standard better ref by pulling this knob. Actually, we can go ahead and pull it here as well on the standby ADI. Now it's on standard at 10,000 feet. We're gonna switch off our lights. Actually, we can switch this one off as well. The autographic scenery is beautiful from up high. Really, really love it. Yep, 10,000 feet. And we are on our way. Not much left to do here, 
just to sit back, enjoy the flight. We're gonna reach our cruising altitude of 33,000 33, feet soon. And it's gonna be a three hour flight. So our route takes us from Portugal to Spain, uh, we're gonna pass Barcelona on the way, then into uh, southeast France, near of Marseille, then cross into Italy, pass Venice, then Croatia, Slovenia and then we finally arrive in Hungary. It's going to fly next to the Lake Balaton and then descend into Budapest. There's not much left to do here. Just uh, sit back, enjoy the flight. And when we are approaching our descent point, I'm going to be back. So, see you guys then.
so in the meantime we have arrived in Hungary and we are approaching our top descent point which is represented by this hockey stick white hockey stick pointing downwards it's already night time here so it's gonna be a night approach so actually there well, let's go ahead and in progress page we have to go to the or the perfect cruise and about five nautical miles from the top of descent we're gonna activate the approach phase and actually let's just see at which altitude uh, 2500 it's gonna be so let set up the FCU Two thousand and five hundred. Sure, let our flight crew know that we are beginning our descent. and activate the approach phase and 2.5 in manage mode so now we have begun our descent next step is to get the ATIS information for Budapest it's uh, 132.37 And once we are in range, we're gonna hear the ATIS and we can fill out this information which the computer requires for a landing. I think there's a slight rain down there, but nothing serious. <coughs> Let's already get uh, altimeter 2979. Temperature was 22 degrees. We're gonna land with uh, approach speed is 138. Decision height is gonna be 200. And we're gonna land with the full flaps for configuration. And we are on our way. Budapest for INTL information goal. 1800 zero weather. Wind calm. Visibility 10. Sky conditions 4500 Q. 6500 scattered. 15000 broken. Temperature 21. 2.19 Altimeter 2979 Arriving runways 31 left 31 right Departing runway 31 left Advise on initial contact you have got oh, We have been calm wind so It's very nice We have the Golf 80s And we can go ahead and set up our Landing here we're gonna use low auto brakes also on the spoilers and that's it for now there's not much that we can see right now
There is the airport right ahead. We're gonna fly a small uh, traffic pattern here and then turn around and line up with our runway. G1 right, which is this one here. Here we have a dissolution point right ahead. And slowly we can go ahead and engage flaps. Sure, let's go uh, range 10. Okay, 10,000 feet. We can put our landing lights on. And there they are. There's not much we can see from these angles. Oh, here we have flown into some rain. However, it's not freezing rain, so we don't need um, anti ice for now. And we are slowly slowing down. Well, it wasn't much of a rain. Now there it is again. Scattered rain clouds. <coughs> okay, now, now we're gonna make our final turn to line up with our, our runway and then there we go. Go ahead and set flaps two. Yep, there it is in the distance. Runway 3, 1, right. <coughs> now, we can go ahead and arm the localizer. Yep, it is live. Now we are slowly slowing way, way down. I can add the next next degree of flaps. Oh, there are traffic on the roads. Yep, it's nine o'clock in the evening local time. Yeah, and here we are the transition altitude. It was nine twenty nine seventy nine. Twenty nine. 79 that's it Q and H and another degree of flaps yep we are at 4 now we can 
weight with the landing gear. Also need the LS. And we can on the approach. I think we're gonna land manually. If we would use the auto land, then we have to engage both other pilots. Let's go ahead and set 138 here. We are capturing the glide slope from underneath, which is the preferred method, so everything is looking good. Soon this indicator is going to st uh, start to move down and when it uh, reaches the middle then we're going to capture the glide slope. It's going to be about at 2500 feet. We're going to go ahead and extend the landing gear now. dark really quickly Still 138, short speed. Glide slope is still in the arm position. winds which is fantastic the lights of Budapest come to view so flaps are down transpolars are armed auto brakes also armed Everything looks ready for landing. And glide slope is live.
thousand above. Actually, let's disengage the autopilot. I have the controls. And Approaching to three, one, right. One thirty five. Maintain. I must stay lined up. Follow our flight director. We don't want to stall. And one thirty three. Inside, go ahead with the landing. And we are down. We can engage trust rever the reversers. At 80 knots, we're gonna store the reversers. Yeah, and slowly engage the brakes, and we're gonna make the next exit. Five thousand feet remaining. That's gonna be enough, I think. And taxi. Towards our parking position. Wasn't a bad landing, if I do say so myself. Once we are at the parking position, uh, watch the replay. Ground speed. Engage the ground spoilers, flaps can come fully up, start the APU. And we're gonna leave the lights for now. Since we are at night here. Now normally the Wizard aircraft would uh, be right there in, on the left side but we're gonna park next to our company aircraft APU is available. Let's go ahead with the APU bleed. And we are here. Parking brakes are set. And shut our engines down. Yep. Goes to APU power.
and the tickers on standby or yeah transponder and tickers as well so we have arrived here safely in Budapest it was three hours so it's not much left to do here just to watch our landing <laughs> 